Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to do a video. We're going to play around today with my um, ink tents pencils and I'm going to use a postcard out of this little book. So this is The Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson and there are just um, postcards so you can actually send them through the mail. <laughs> and I've picked out um, this picture here and it's two bugs and I'm going to do them in uh, two different colors. One's going to be blue, one's going to be purple. Also, I'm going to do the ink tents in two different ways. Now, I, I understand you can use these straight down and color and then use your um, water brushes or uh, paintbrush dipped in water and spread the ink around. Or you can uh, scribble the pencils down on a um, plastic sheet, which I have here. Um, <laughs> This is a uh, plastic divider that came in one of my planners. That's why it has all these little holes on it. One side is rough and the other side is smooth. So I figured I could probably use this the same way as people use their um, watercolor uh, mixing boards or whatever they are called. So I can use the rough side to scribble down the ink tents on and then um, add water and use it that way. I have paper towels because I understand you're supposed to wipe your brush off <laughs> in between um, using it in different colors. So this is what we're going to do. And in here I have my ink tents uh, color swatches. Okay. So I'm going to go in here and pick out some blues. They're numbered, they're named, but the colors on the pencils themselves are not the same coloration as what they end up looking like. So I have to use this chart and we're just going to use um, probably two tones of the blue, one in light and one in dark. So our lightest color here is uh, let's see, iris blue, so I will try to find um, that one, here we go, iris blue, and that is uh, 900, zero, 900, zero. and then our darkest blue, we have a deep indigo, which is almost black, or we have a iron blue. And then we get into kind of a purple tone. So I kind of like the deep blue, which is do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be about the same color though, these two. And we'll I'll throw in some of the um, navy blue. Just in case. What is this one here? Lagoon. Hmm. What is Lagoon? I have one sharpened, so I was looking at it. And I have no idea. So we're going to try these three colors here in the blue family. The other one is going to be purple. So we are going to flip here and find the lightest purple, which is... Hmm. Well, these are mobs and fuchsias. So we'll use Fuchsia 700 and a deep violet or something. So <laughs> I'm just winging this. Where are these colors? So Fuchsia and I said deep violet, blue, dark purple. I don't know. We'll try those two colors. So this is dark purple. We got dark purple here. This one is 750, and then the uh, fuchsia is 10700. So we're going to use those pencils and see what we get. <laughs> All right, put that away. We've got our picture. All right, and we got, um, I have two different water uh, paint brushes. This one's a Pentel and I don't have a clue. I got this probably six years ago 
and I wouldn't have a clue where I got it. It's been in my stash forever, and I usually use it for um, putting paint on boxes and stuff. So <laughs> I'm going to try each one of those. And I also have um, paint brushes. So we'll get out um, a tiny paint brush. Okay, so uh, this is a number two and the a cool part. Uh, I bought these off of eBay and they're for doing um, like, see how tiny that is, work on um, like models, uh, little figurines where you can paint. So it's really tiny. So we will try those. And first off, we are going to, um, let's see, got to figure out who I want. But I want this guy blue, this guy purple. So we will go in with the fuchsia here. And we're just going to color this guy up here in the fuchsia. Pretty color. And like I said, we're learning today. So I'm going to bring you down so you can see kind of what I'm doing. There we go. And the dark purple. I'll put down on this end here. And we're going to see what this does. This uh, postcard from Hannah Carlson's book is, um, by the way, very, very thick. Uh, totally, it's not going to drip through or anything as far as I know, because I'm going to use it with very little water. So we're going to try with the Pentel water brush first, since it has water in it and I don't have to make a mess. Get our paper towel out, because I know you're supposed to dab it on there. It's going to have to be on this side. Okay. Here we go. Lightest color first, as I understand it, and into the dark. I'm going to bring the dark up a little bit. And do it again. And the dark up. I don't know if you can tell that's purple, but it is. <laughs> Maybe I put too much coloring down. There we go. First try. Yes, I made a mess here. I'll try to lift some of that up. I know this dries real well, so I could bring some purple down. That's okay. We'll just do that with all of them. We are playing today. I'm not trying to make this perfect. I'm just trying to see how this stuff lays down. Okay. So we got some purple there. We're going to do the next one just uh, with one color. So what did I do with that mauve? I'm just going to come down the side here and bring some of that in and just do his whole body here in this color. We're going to go up both sides. There, and then we'll just add a tiny bit of the, that's deep blue, we don't want deep blue, we want the purple. Uh, the dark purple, just down around the very edge, boom, down around this edge, there we go, we'll see what this does. Okay, so we will start on the light end. And bring that in to the dark. Grab some of that dark and kind of just blend it in there. Not sure if this is how you're supposed to do this, but this is how I'm going to do it. <laughs> I have to turn it so I can get the same effect on the other side. Start over here. Go into the light. Bring it down, 
grab some of the darker purple, bring it up a little, and bring it down. I'll bring it up here too. And there we go. Little bug. And then I'm going to do kind of the same thing on his upper body. So we're going to go in with the fuchsia and then up on the side here. Okay, then we will go in with the dark purple. I'm going to put some down at the base and oop, there I broke the pencil. Scoot away. <laughs> okay, and up on the sides. I'm not really pushing very hard. It's they're kind of softish. Um, they're ink, so I don't know how soft they're supposed to be. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go in light, bring it up in those areas, and touch that purple. Wipe it off. I'll bring some of that down into this area. Why not? See what it does. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it. Sorry. And then I'll be doing that a lot. Okay, then we just touch it again. Bring it up. Ooh, that's pretty together. And then bring it down like we did the other one. There we go. Okay. So far, bug's looking all right. I mean, it doesn't look awful. <laughs> We're going to just head the same way. We're going to put in the fuchsia. And we're going to throw some on his arms and up here on his wing. And go to his feet. I caught feet. They're all legs, aren't they? Little bugs all over. Have just legs that don't have really feet. <laughs> we'll do the antenna too. And then we will add in some of that uh, dark purple here. Bring out the edge a little. Yeah, throw some in the legs. See if we can't get this to mix a little better. Okay. Let's try this out. So we're just going to brighten that. Let me bring that down into his little fluff too. Yep, no, I went too close so I have to go this way. Okay, those legs. There we go. Up his wings. Whoop. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll bring some of that. See how far down I can get that into his wings. And this one.
Oh, I have to put a little more on that side. I hope I'm in camera. I'm really sorry if I'm not. Be a little more careful to stay in line on these things. Sorry, I'm not really rinsing the brush either. I'm supposed to be doing that. It's a whole learning curve on this. Said I am just playing around with it. Okay, we got to add a little bit more of that uh, color on this wing here. So I'm just going to lay some of that mauve and and a tiny bit of that dark purple up here. Probably should have waited until it dried a little more. But I just want to get that color down into the wing like I did the other side. Here we go. Little guy. Not too bad. First try. And I hear you're supposed to let it all dry, then you can go and put a second coat on him. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're going to do the uh, purple one here. So we will get rid of, or the blue one, get rid of the purple pencils, put them way far away so I don't get them mixed up. And this one we're going to draw on the plastic sheet. And let's see if I can get everything here and pick up the paint. So we're going to go with, uh, I don't know how well this is going to work. That is the navy blue. This is dark purple. I thought I got rid of dark purple. <laughs> okay. Deep blue. And then um, the iris blue. Put it over on this side. Okay, so I just scribbled them on. Okay. And then I'm going to go in and get a little of this. What was this? The darkest blue. And we're going to lay some of that down. Ooh, there's a lot of water on there. Some of that off. I'll put a light wash of that on there. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's pick up. Put that there and then up on the side. There we go. We'll go in with some of the um, medium blue. It's a little brighter. I'm just going to put a line here and then bring it up. Same on the other side. So this is more like um, watercolor, so you can actually put it where you want it and move it around. Um, I know you can do that with the pencils. I just I will play with it too much this way, I think. But it's a quick way of putting down the ink, and it blends in really well. But I can see I going over it a little too much over here. It's light blue, the iris. And we're going to come down from the top here. Just put a coat on it. I'll go in the hair too. 
do the same on this side. dark face on him and if I can get this small enough we'll put some into here too and some in his little appendages Just darkening up some areas here because I can play with the paint. <laughs> play with it. I don't know which way I like better. Okay, so we've got the blue bug and the purple bug. I know neither one of them are done absolutely perfect, but when it's done with the um, pencil, put right down on the paper and then water activating it. And then this one was done just with putting it on the palette and putting it on. This one is a little lighter than um, this little guy down here, but both are really cool effect. A little more color in over here. I mean, these are fun. <laughs> I can see playing with these a lot. I'm glad I started off on a really thick card, though. Um, you would have to put a lot less uh, water on it when you're using it in a color book, I would assume. So, well, we'll look at both of them. You can see them both this way. A little bit better. Now, um, this stuff dries real fast. I'm going to add some of the uh, dark purple down here into this area on his wing and get some color down on this one. And we'll see how that works. Going in with the second coat, second coat, second coverage, and we'll add some up here. Now the paper um, is still a little damp, so it'll actually um, have some bleeding on that unless you really dry it. Okay. Not too bad for the first try. <laughs> okay, um, we're going to do, I forgot to use the other two paint brushes, but I'm going to go ahead and use um, this one here. And there's one other thing I forgot about. Uh, you can take the uh, water and just put it right on the, sorry about the noise, we've got some high schoolers running around in their cars. Take the uh, ink right off the tip. So I'm just gonna dab that in water, drip it all over the paper probably. <laughs> Try to take some of this off. And um, heck, this is the navy blue, so this is the darkest of the blues. And we're going to kind of, um, I'm going to get down a little closer to the blue guy. And we're going to add some uh, fine details, I guess, because this is a detail type paintbrush. And we'll see what we can do here with some detail work. I don't know how long this will drag if that's dry already. And we'll get a little bit more. I'm going to say the water brushes are just a little easier for me to use than this process. 
but you might like this. Get a little more on there. And do the other side. Okay. Yeah, I like the um, <laughs> the water brush better. So we're going to try it with that. And we're just going to add some of this uh, down here. Because I can. <laughs> I just darken that up a little bit down in the corner. And then maybe up a little on his um, ruffles up here. Not trying to give him too much definition, but uh, just a little bit. Just to brighten him up like the other guy. This guy did come out a lot darker, but it could also be because of the um, colors I used. But both effects are really neat. So I just clean off my brush by giving it a squeeze, wiping it on the paper towel. And I, what I'll go ahead and do after this dries is I will do a background and maybe use some Posca pen on both of them. See how that works. And I'll show you the finished picture when I'm done. Thanks for uh, watching and uh, being with me while I tried these out. They are a lot of fun to play with. And I see using these <laughs> a lot. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you later. Take care now.